Hey everybody, this is Chelsea Schaefer and Caitlin Gustav, and this is The Score, the official podcast of the sport of team roping. This is the Team Roping Journal's semi-weekly podcast, highlighting the team roping industry's top talent and influencers through stories that inspire and connect ropers. We sit down with ropers from the professional ranks, as well as industry icons and producers to delve into topics that make the team roping world tick. This is season two. It will feature even deeper interviews, storytelling, and issue-based coverage, and we are so excited you're here. Hey guys, we record this, just so you know the kind of sacrifices I make for the sport of team roping. We record this during the barrel racing. We Yeah, we did. I don't get to watch the barrel racing at Chelsea's NFR. upset. I'm really not that upset. <laughs> Everybody says to me, hey, did you see so-and-so? No, I did not. I'm doing the podcast talking to team ropers. Here we are. Here we are. This is round five, halfway point of the week. And I think it's just Groundhog's Day because we're talking to the same people two nights in a row every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so we just talked to Chad Masters and Joseph Harrison because they won two rounds. Very exciting. Their interview is is really. I like when Chad comes out of his shell a little he's, bit. He's funny. <laughs> Chad. Chad's not what you think. I guess is what you say. I, I don't. I think that's the only way to describe Chad. Not what you think. No yeah. matter what you think, that's not right. That's not it. Not it. Huh? <laughs> so I'm glad we got to visit with Chad. I'm glad we get to visit with Joseph. It's always enjoyable, kind of soaking that partnership up while it lasts. Yeah. So um, without further ado, Caitlin, tell us what happened real quick in the round. All right, Chad and Joseph are four two. Second and third split was. Four four seconds. That's Clay Smith and Jade Corkill and Car- Coleman Proctor nine votes. Fourth is Luke Brown Paul Lee's with a five one. Fifth is Cody Snow and Wesley Thorpe with a five three. And sixth is Brenton Hall and Jason Tryon with a six three. Uh, the round was kind of open. If you watched it, it you know. I love how smart um, Brenton and Chase were there with that six three, and it paid off. So. Yeah, just staying hooked, mm-hmm. staying in it. Yeah, Brian right missed the barrier a little bit. And they're still winning the average, which is awesome. They're 24 and 20 seconds on five head right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely staying hooked right there. Absolutely. All right, guys, without much more to say, here's Chad Masters and Joseph Harrison, your round five champs. Welcome, guys. You just won your second go-round. You just had so much fun yeah. last night. You had to do it again? It was a lot of fun. It was fun? It was a lot of fun. No, that's yeah. weird if you do it like that. Okay. <laughs> Chad, how did it feel compared to last night? It was slower, but... Yeah, it was slower. Um, it did feel a little bit more in control. I, like I said, I, I did try to let this steer take a step, and he was a he was a little bit faster and a little bit sharper than I thought, and I felt behind just a little bit. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm happy with what, what went, how it went. You guys were first out. Were you just trying to make the best run on the steer? And I mean, were you going for it? Are you guys going for it all week? Like, what's the? No, I've been practicing for the last three weeks, and every year you practice mm-hmm. to go fast. And then it seems like my whole life, I've, you know, in my earlier days I went fast, and then I learned to be controlled, and kind of made me more money. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to talk myself into going fast now. Mm-hmm. But we've been trying. To, I worked on it for the last three weeks, trying to go fast and. I know it wasn't as fast as last night, but it, it felt a lot smoother. It worked. It worked, it that's was, right. They'll still give you $26,000. Yeah. The check isn't going to say, but slower. Like, there's no there's no penalty for that. Joseph, how did it feel for you? Man, it was good. I was a little late, and Chad read me good. <laughs> he kind of waited on me, which was outstanding. Veteran move? Yeah, man, if he hadn't waited on me, there, I'd have been in trouble. <laughs> but he waited on me good, and like I said, it's... I'd like to give a, a lot of credit for me getting a throw with that steer to my horse, to mm-hmm. Main Street. It, he makes steers like where I dummy up and I'm late, then he just closes the gap for me. And What does he do? It just gets, just I don't throttles know. down? Or? Well, he just don't, well, I don't, honestly don't think he can run that fast. Mm-hmm. But his steps aren't wasted. He doesn't go the wrong way first and then mm-hmm. have to overcome that. He always goes to the perfect spot. Mm-hmm. So... It doesn't have to be very fast, I don't guess. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I just, steers like that make you really appreciate your partner and your horse. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you about that horse. You and I did a story on scoring, and people love that. And it's like you're the master. 
for the score master. That yellow horse, master does he, master. you know, Clint can be a little more challenging to score master for some. Master. Does the yellow horse, tell me about him. Tell me about riding in the corner. You know, he's really, really good in the box here. He, uh... He, when you ride in the box, he looks dead at the steer. So it makes you something that you don't have to focus on. Um, I've only rode him, you know, I ride him at a couple rodeos during the year. So it's uh, it takes a little bit to get in tune with him. But the uh, I'm really pleased with how good he's been in the box this week. I've left myself a little early and uh, maybe not made him look good a couple times. But I think if... I think he's been reading my swing a little bit when he's been leaving. Now, I don't get to watch the replay. Back. They don't show a replay back here. So, does he leap just right off your hand? How do you score him specifically? You know, it's it's, it's funny that you talk about him and Clint. Clint, you've got a one out mm -hmm. and uh, to get him moving. And this one, if any, if you move anything, he's ready to go. Mm -hmm. So, you got to sit as still as you can because um, if you pick up your range, you move your rope, you lean forward, he's... Uh, He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that makes him good here. You don't want one too dead. Mm -hmm. um, you already have your go-round buckle on. You took a world championship buckle off for your go-round buckle. And I, when I say world championship... Sounds dumb, huh? I mean, it's an AQHA world championship, yeah. which no discredit to that whatsoever, but yeah, but you were so excited. Man, yeah, because it, 24, 24 steers it took me to get one. Mm -hmm. And it's the only thing that I wanted. And obviously now that I have it, I want more, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want, I want further up the food chain buckles. But yeah. at the same time, uh, as fast as I could get it on my belt, that's what I wanted to do. So speaking of further up the food chain buckles, it is the midway point of the week. Projected world standings. If it ended tonight, Joseph, you would be the world champion healer. And wow, that sounds good. <laughs> unfortunately, you have to rope five more. Yeah, I know. or fortunately. Um, you get a chance at 26000 a night, though, to do it, that so it's kind of fun. Chad, you're, you've been in this spot before, or, you know, you've been in this game before as far as the hunt for the world title. Are you considering it at all? Are you going to forget about it now that I've said it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, every, I mean, everyone here, all of us, we want, hopefully it goes our way, and, and that's what we're all here to do is to hopefully we have a good week or a great year and, and end up being the champ. Um, it's uh, a lot of tough guys to rope against. Um, like you said, Joseph's got a really, really good shot. Um, so I'm, I'm great with it. If, if I could just do my job and help him get it, that'd be the best case scenario for me. Um, if, if we had things go great, then it would, it would, my, it would work for my way. Yeah, you've been in a split world title position before. Not that we hope that juju on you guys at this point in the game. We've got a lot of steers left, but the split world title thing sucks. But I think we should just go ahead and get him one, and so if we too. get him another one, I'm for sure getting one. <laughs> exactly. I agree. We'll yeah. just do it like that. <laughs> $70,000 already this week. You guys have won 69000 I think it said. What do you, um, any big plans for, what's NFR money mean for you guys in your careers? Well, it's just, you know, pay the bills, pay for your place and your truck and whatever Joey wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's that, what I like to Yeah, hear. man. That kind of stuff. You got to have money yeah. for that stuff. So this is the place I... What was funny is, is my first year rodeoing, uh, my wife didn't really love it because we've gone a lot mm -hmm. and that stuff. And we've always been kind of right beside each other. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't really love it. But when we got done, when the national finals rodeo was over, my bank account looked better than maybe it ever had. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a no-brainer that if you can if you can do good in a year and get to here, you got a chance to get ahead money here. You know, and that I just really appreciate, you know, what they do for us and being able to to rope for that kind of money every night. Mm -hmm. you know, that's awesome. And you just built an arena, right? I did. How's I did. that going? It, you it's, on roping since then? We have some ropings. We had some roping schools. Uh, we have lots of folks come over and rope. It's fun. Um, yeah, it was super, super expensive. Yeah. I had uh, even more than I thought. Yeah. So, like you said, the money, we always need the money, however it comes, <laughs> and uh, it's always the place to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I want to talk just before we go about horses. Chad, you have the reputation of pulling into a jackpot with, I mean, as many horses as you can fit in the trailer to go rope and ride on. Do you guys talk about horse training a lot? Chad, you've made so many good ones. 
Oh, thank you. Um, you know what? I have been dumb about probably not visiting with this guy and learning as much as I could. Um, the one thing he does is he don't ever tune on me about how I ride him. Really? Um, you know, and, and I think that's what makes him a good partner in a lot of ways is he, uh, if anything he says, it's always positive to me. So that's probably why he don't say a whole lot about my horsemanship. Yeah. It, it, I bet he can pick <laughs> on me pretty good. I just think it would be so fun to like sit in a truck with you guys and talk horsemanship. Do you not talk about it very much? Well, I mean, we do. We, we drive down through there and talk about what we could do this one mm-hmm. or, and Chad's. Chad, honestly, Chad's got probably better input about what I could do to my heel horses to make it better for our game than I do his head horses. If you had to be honest, he didn't. I know he ain't <laughs> gonna agree with me, but he probably does. So it, it, it is good. And, and since we are talking about horses, I'd like to throw out there one more time. Bobby Lewis has yeah. been great, great for me. Um, he pretty much give me the one I'm riding here, and uh, he keeps me mounted. You know, he keeps them around for me to be able to train and, and mm-hmm. to have good stuff to ride. And the ranch name, he, yeah. he, he, he's been really good for me. Uh, are we going to see Dual Axel at all, your world champ and your maturity champ? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Uh, he's a really nice horse, mm-hmm. man. And I, we're going to we're gonna keep him in showing. He's still got another yeah. maturity year. And, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to show him at the world show again. And So I'm looking forward to him. He just gets better all the time man i'm pretty pumped about him Chad, what young ones do you have coming up anything you're really excited about oh i got a couple they um i got a five-year-old and a couple six-year-olds and uh, i think in a couple years uh, i think they might be something that i can use um i think i've bought up to about 20 horses now so i'm just always looking for the next one and I, I feel like you got to own a lot of them to get one great one. So when I asked you that question about going to the jackpot with all those horses in the trailer, you just kind of gave me a blank stare. I was like, "Am I wrong? I thought you have a lot of horses." But no, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, I would probably be better off if I didn't have so many and, and focus on a couple of them. But uh, you know, I, I I think there's two or three ways to do it. But for me, it's been better if I take three or four horses to a rope, and as soon as one works good, you know, maybe ease up on him and put mm-hmm. some runs on something else and um because they only a few of them can just take the pounding every time and and uh, a lot of runs at a young age awesome guys well the funny part is the ones that can take that Mm -hmm. you really don't want to do it to them because those are the good ones the ones that'll be good so you're Mm -hmm. you're, it's catch 22 you pound on one because he can take it but it's also because he's got a chance to be great Remind me, how old was Street when he got, when you really started using Street? Because he did the cut, he did everything. Or the yeah, uh, I, I started hauling him to the rodeos when he was eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Eight, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, guys, well, go celebrate again Remember, tonight. Thanks. This is a lot of celebrating for you guys. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, this episode of the Score Rope Vegas NFR Bonus Edition is brought to you by our amazing sponsors at Fastback Ropes, Resistal Hats, CSI Saddle Pads, and Soft Ride Boots. Hey, did you stop and check out the Athena yet from Fastback Ropes? You better go swing it, Caitlin. It's their new breakaway, and they've got it in all the booths here in Vegas. So. I'm definitely going to have to go try it tomorrow. Yeah. That's going to be first thing I do while I'm at the team rope right? <laughs> at the the South Plains. Yes, we'll get our breakaway rope. You don't want my opinion on the breakaway rope. It wouldn't be worth very much, but we'll get Caitlin to tell you all how she thinks, what she thinks about it tomorrow. All right, everyone. We will talk at you tomorrow night for round six.